Hi, I'm Michael Kimke with Garden City Co-op's Precision Ag Team, and we're out here on Dwayne Rose Farm this morning installing some moisture probes on a multi-field irrigation study. So with this program, we're going to take a comprehensive multi-year look at how we can better manage irrigation practices on the High Plains. Uh, we have several circles involved with the study. It's in conjunction with Garden City Company, a local landowner here, as well as Kansas State University and various irrigation vendors uh, and their associated equipment and hardware. Hi, this is Lake and Dryden with Garden City Co-op's Precision Ag Team. We're out here today installing some moisture probes in our MZB management zones. We uh, base these zones off four layers of data. It's EC data, a shallow and a deep layer, off our Varus machine. While doing the Varus, we also take uh, RTK elevation, and then 12 to 15 year satellite data. We put all those layers into a program and we get management zones within that software. Then we come out here so we could strategically place these moisture probes. With this program, it's gonna be a multi-year study. One circle is gonna take a look at how drought tolerant hybrids affect water availability during the season and how we can fine tune what that sprinkler puts out based on those hybrid characteristics. The other study is looking at different irrigation packages on each, each span of a pivot. Uh, one span has dragon lines set up on it, another has IWABs, and the next span has bubblers. We're gonna evaluate with our moisture probes how that water moves based off that individual irrigation package. With this study, we're attempting to sustain the life of the Ogallo Aquifer with the idea that if we can figure out how to minimize the irrigation passes we put on a year, whether it's through these new irrigation packages, uh, different management zones and yield environments, or different hybrids, we'll be able to at some point uh, arrive at a time where possibly, instead of seeing a decline in the aquifer, we're able to stabilize those levels and lengthen the time we can irrigate out here in southwest Kansas. If you'd like more information about this study, look for uh, news on our local field day we'll have this summer, taking a look at these various packages we put in place. Also, if you'd like to take a look at, look at the situation on your own farm this year as far as irrigation management, feel free to contact a member of the Garden City Co-op Precision Ag Team. Uh, we're happy to help you at any time on your own farm and how you can better manage irrigation.